You've seen Rolling Thunder, you've seen Contra, and you've seen Gunstar Heroes. But have you ever seen this? Well, I'm seeing it right now. Geostorm, an IRAM arcade game from 1994. The core gameplay is fairly simple. You make your way through the stage while shooting hordes of enemies, and you blow up the boss at the end. But there's a lot to take in. You get two guns to fire instead of just one, and there are plenty of weapon upgrades and rideable vehicles along the way. You can even climb and hang off of ceilings and other surfaces to avoid enemy fire. If this game had a grappling hook, you'd basically be Spider-Man with a gun. There are also numerous prisoners along the way that you can free for bonus points. And trust me, there are a lot of prisoners. And come to think of it, all those prisoners are the same girl with a red dress. Makes you wonder where they all came from. Maybe the bad guys were doing some cloning experiments. It's a conspiracy. But definitely the most notable thing about Geostorm is all the explosions. So many explosions. There's an explosion the moment you hop onto the flatbed at the start of the game. And there is constant chaos and destruction and flashy, fiery glory from that point forward, complete with the painful grunts and screams of enemies as they're attacked, and some amazing heavy metal chiptune music. Not to mention, this game's even got a little bit of blood in it, such as when enemies are split in half by that giant tank boss. Even for a game from the 90s, it's quite an impressive visual display overall with some of the greatest sprite art and animation you'll see in a video game. The game even ends with a rocket ship erupting in flames shooting upward. Can't let those dudes go to space. The only real downside is that Geostorm infinitely loops without a proper ending or even any credits. Though considering that it was Irem's last arcade game, they were probably short on time or money while making it. In fact, the music for this game was originally composed for the 1990 game Air Duel, now fully realized with sampled drums and distorted guitars. Otherwise, Geostorm is an absolute blast to play, either alone or cooperatively, and it truly ended Irem's arcade legacy with a bang. Plus, the team who made Geostorm would leave Irem shortly after, and with funding from SNK, founded Nazca Corporation. Their fruitful efforts would continue to shine forward to the end of the 90s on the Neo Geo with... Neo Turf Masters. And Metal Slug.